You probably heard about this platitude. If you've never heard this word before, I'll explain it to you. I bet you understand what a proverb or a saying is. It's that sort of statement that supposedly conveys a truth. A platitude is a negative way of defining a thought. When people say that a thought is a platitude, they refer to it as useless and cliché. It's the type of sayings that fill up your newsfeed on Facebook. Things like, everything happens for a reason, or money can buy happiness. You know them very well. You've probably been using them yourself. And you know what I think about them? I think we should stop treating them like they were universal truths, as if they were divinely inspired ideas. I know, I know. Sometimes we use them just to comfort our friends and relatives during times of grief. But if I'm on the receiving end, instead of being consoled, I would be really annoyed. Many of these platitudes are easy to debunk. Money can buy happiness? You mean to tell me that there isn't a single well-off person who was poor, worked hard and is happier now because of his financial stability? Happiness and misery occur in all social levels. And what about time heals all wounds? Surely many of us have experienced this. But that doesn't mean that there aren't people out there who still have psychological open wounds and end up harming others and themselves. Here's another one. It wasn't meant to be, or everything happens for a reason. Meaning that there's something bigger than us that controls our fate. And many of you probably will be saying, are you trying to tell us that you disagree on that? And I would say, I don't know. Nowadays, we have the information right at our fingertips. Not one day goes by where we don't hear or see in real time about human suffering. Tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, fires, wars, you name it. Some people try to justify this by saying something like, maybe the people in those affected areas were disobeying God's commandments. Really? What about the babies? Were they disobeying too? They depict God as a monster. And I personally think that if He exists, He wouldn't act like that. No just father would punish a son by punishing his entire family and neighbors. And what about evil people hurting innocent people? Some say, well, that happens because people have turned their backs on God. Once again, they're assuming that God is this vengeful being who refuses to help the innocent victims just because part of mankind is evil. But I digress. Back to our platitude. Everything happens for a reason. People losing entire families in a war, girls being kidnapped and raped for decades. Can you find a meaningful reason for this. Think about 
all the psychological damage they have because of those traumatic experiences, damage that is possibly gonna last for the rest of their lives. Remember the saying, time heals all wounds. I hope for a moment you forgot this was an English class and that we were engaging in a conversation. Sometimes I can be brutal, I admit it. I just wanted to say what was on my mind. Sorry about the rant. So, what are your thoughts on this topic? I think that platitudes give a false impression of wisdom. This is not to say they can have a lot of truth in them, but sometimes we shouldn't take them too seriously. Leave a comment below this video. I suspect that for many of you, this video is filled with new words. Watch it again. You can also suggest a topic for future videos. See ya!